<coughs> I guess. Uh, morning, everyone. Guys are able to see my screen, right? Okay. Let's get started. If we take our previous scenarios, we are getting understanding that what are all the different kind of stages are available. That means first we are getting understanding that while working with the blue prism to get design particular flow or to get design a object, it will be taking with the help of the object. Okay. So now for that, we have been discussing about different kind of stages when understanding that what exactly the functionality of the stages. Now, before going to starting designing with the flows, we need to be get understand that while working with the blue prism, what are the deeper options are available and how we can utilize that particular debug options here. Okay. So further, if we take with the blue prism, if we look into the debug options, which you will be taking with the options is one is breakpoint. Okay. One you will be taking with the breakpoint, and one you will be mentioning it set next stage. Okay. So one you will be taking with the breakpoint and one you will be taking with the option is set next stage. Okay. And similar to that, I will be getting with the some more options. One you will be taking with the option is step and one you will be taking with the option is step over and one you will be taking with the option is step out. Okay. So one you will be taking with the option is step and one you will be taking with the step over and the one you will be taking with the step out here. Okay. So whenever we are working with the blue prism, these are the different kind of options which we can use it related to the debug activity here. Okay. Right. So now let's get understand that how we can utilize with the each and every option. First, we'll understand that how we can work with the breakpoint and set the next stage. After that, we'll be taking with the remaining options here. Okay, right. Now we can see here, which we can look into this. Let me get create an object here. Okay, so first we need to be get create an object. Let's create on it. It will be creating with the one object which you will be mentioning the debug options okay. which you will be taking with the debug options okay. which you will be taking with the debug options here okay click on finish All right now it will be taking with the double click activity okay which it will be taking with the action one here fine now we can see how we can utilize with the debug options here okay so to get utilized with the debug options let's perform with the some activity here okay let's get design some activities here for example let's take our common activities like addition and subtraction here. So further, we required with the date item, which you will be taking with the date item here. Okay. You will be taking with the respective values that you will be taking with the A, providing with the number, and you will be taking with the B, which it will be providing with the number. Okay. And after that, you will be taking with the result which you will be taking with the result underscore it will be taking addition data type it will be providing number okay and at the same time it will be taking with the result underscore it will be taking subtraction data type it will be taking with the number here 
okay right now for this to perform these things we need to be take with the help of the calculation stage Sorry. which you will be taking with the calculation stage here it will be taking with the calculation stage which it will be taking this calculation stage okay perform double click on it first you will be taking with the addition that you will be taking with the a and then you will be taking with the b which you will be taking with the plus b you will be getting storing with the result okay and after that you need to be take with the subtraction which it will be taking with the subtraction that you will be taking with the a minus which you will be taking with the b and you will be taking with the subtraction here and clicking on okay so one will be taking with the addition and one will be taking with the subtraction here right and after this let me take with the some more calculation stages which you will be taking with the two more calculation stages here okay perform them in double click on it which you will be taking with the multiply here okay so we'll be taking with the multiply which it will be taking with the a and then it will be taking with the star which it will be taking with the b then it will be getting storing it it will be taking with the result underscore multiply here clicking on okay and after that we need to be take with the division activity let me take perform division also it will be taking with the one more calculation sorry multiply okay let me take with the division also which you will be taking with the division that you will be taking with the a and then you will be taking with the divide which you will be taking with the b here getting storing with the result underscore it will be taking division create this data item okay All right now we can see here let's get executed here okay so if i'm taking with the execution now you will be taking with the connectivity addition subtraction multiply divide and activity let's take with the reset here now let me take into the slow mode it will be taking into the slow mode only and then you can take with the run activity now if i'm taking with the run it will be performing addition which it will be taking with the subtraction multiply and division which it will be taking all the activities okay right now it is perfectly working fine taking with the each and every activity now what exactly mean by breakpoint is if we understand it here once i click on with the run activity all the things it is performing right one by one each and every stage it is getting executed but assume that as part of the user requirement once you perform the execution of some of the stages then you have to be wait some time that means you need to be get one alert mentioning that breakpoint after that if required we can perform with the some more activities now we can see here once addition and subtraction has been performed i'm taking with the right click activity which you will be taking with the option is breakpoint okay so which it will be taking with the option is breakpoint then it will be getting in setting with the breakpoint here so if i'm taking this red color activity so this will be mentioning that got inserted with the breakpoint here okay so this i will be mentioning that which it will be taking with the breakpoint here right now we can see here i'll be taking with the reset which which will be taking with the run activity so it will be taking addition which it will be taking subtraction and then it is giving an alert mentioning that reach it to the breakpoint okay now what will happen it will not continue the execution so till the time we are taking again run activity it will be waiting for the user input here okay so the concept of the breakpoint is whenever we are taking with the execution in any of the stage if you want to be stop your execution then you will be taking with the help of the breakpoint now we can see the status here it is mentioning that passed here 
okay so now again if i click on the run we are not clicking on reset okay we are not clicking on the reset in case if i click on reset again it will start from the start stage only but already this has got completed addition subtraction already completed need to be continue from the multiply stage only that it will be taking with the run activity and again it will be mentioning that running it and then continued with the multiply division taking end activity at last mentioning with the completed here okay so this is which it will be mentioning that which it will be working with the breakpoint here for example assume that again i am running it it will be giving with the breakpoint giving an alert mentioning that breakpoint reach now we reach it to the breakpoint here okay now once it has been reached to the breakpoint okay once it has been reached to the breakpoint assume that you want to be perform some more activities here okay so you want to be get perform with the some more activities here then what i will be doing is i will be getting added with the some more calculation stages so here i will be taking with the some more calculation stages for example which you will be taking with the today's date here, which you will be taking today's date that is you will be taking with the date you will be taking with the option is today and you will be getting storing that result which you will be mentioning the result underscore date creating this date item okay now we can see here once i have been taken with the execution let me take with the connectivity now we can see here already we completed with the execution of addition and subtraction that part got completed which we are got in a breakpoint and it is waiting for the user input here now once user is clicking on the run button okay once user is clicking on the run button it is taking with the multiply and which it will be taking with the division and then it will be taking with the next activity now we can see here clicking on the run it is continuing with the multiply taking with the division taking with the today's date and which it will be taking end activity okay so this is which it will be getting working with the breakpoints in case if you want to be clear with the breakpoint then you will be taking with the right click activity which you will be taking with the breakpoint here okay right now we can see here i'm taking reset if required whenever we are working with the breakpoint okay so whenever we are working with the breakpoint we are having with the possibility to get work with the multiple breakpoints here okay so if i'm taking with the breakpoint we are having with the possibility to get work with the multiple breakpoints also for example here i will be taking with the right click breakpoint again this i will be taking with the right click breakpoint there is no limit here okay so we don't have any limit here according to the scenario or according to the requirement how many according to the requirement how many breakpoints you want to be get inserted we can get inserted that many breakpoints here okay right now we can see here let's take with the run activity so we'll be taking with the reset it will be taking run then it will be taking addition and then it is giving breakpoint okay getting closing it again i'm taking with the run activity taking with the breakpoint here okay again it will be taking run activity closing it and then it will be taking with the run again it will be continued it here okay so this is what which it will be taking with the breakpoint here either we can get work with the single breakpoint or we can get work with the multiple breakpoints here so concept of the breakpoint is it will be passing your execution and in case if you want to be perform any other activities we can perform it and then you can continue from that respective step here okay so this it will be taking with the breakpoint here okay now let me take with the reset and then i will be taking with the uncheck of this which it will be clearing all the breakpoints here okay and at the same time it will be taking with the one more option 
that you will be taking with the set to next stage okay one you will be taking with the break point and one you will be taking with the set to next stage here so what exactly the purpose of set to next stage or what exactly use of this okay so one you will be taking with the break point and one you will be taking with the set to next stage what exactly the purpose of this now we can see here what exactly the purpose of set to next stage is i will be taking with the right click activity by default you will be getting the option is set to next stage okay what exactly the purpose of the set to next stage is now we can see here till now whenever we are taking with the execution we are clicking on the reset activity right once we click on the reset your execution will be coming into the start stage and if i clicking on the run button always execution is getting started from the start stage only right now if we look into this in case if you want to be perform the today's date first we have to be wait until all the remaining calculation stages has to be completed after that it will be coming into the today's date here but whenever we are working with the real time okay while working with the real time there may be a chances okay so while working with the real time there may be a chances you will be having with the requirement of the first five stages or six stages are working fine and the only last two stages are not working so whenever we are taking with the execution again i don't want to be take with the execution from the very start stage that means here in this example i'm very perfect i'm understanding that this addition subtraction is perfectly working fine just i want to be cross check only from multiply okay so I want to be cross check that only from the multiply and remaining things not required only then what we can do is from which stage you want to make it executed it may be any stage whatever it may be from which stage you want to make it executed it will be taking with the right click activity of that particular stage okay so from which stage you want to be get executed it will be taking with the right click activity of that particular stage and it will be taking with the option is set to next stage okay so it will be taking with the option that it will be taking with the option is set to next stage okay now you will be taking with the run activity which you will be taking with the run activity so once i click on this run button we should not be taking reset here in case if i am taking reset it will get clear again it will be taking execution from the start button only once you done with the right click and then set the next stage directly click on the run button it will be continue the execution from that particular step only now we can see here you are not able to see performing any addition subtraction is doing which is continued from the multiply okay so the concept is very straight forward here from which particular stage you want to be take with the execution you need to be take with the execution from that particular step here okay so this which it will be taking with the option one will be taking with the break point and one will be taking with the set to next stage okay so one will be taking with the break point and one will be taking with the set to next stage here right so clear about these two options here any clarifications on these two things so when working with the set next uh, stage uh, okay. in the example mm -hmm. uh, so we set the next stage for the multiplication stage um, uh, so when we start the execution it's going to start from the multiplication and continue from there right right so but um, but the connectivity should start from the start stage right so how will it know like aha uh -huh. yeah so that is what this option here so till now what is happening is now we can see here you can look into this status i'm taking reset okay 
one side done with the races you can look into the top of the status it is not giving any status here okay once i click on the reset activity now execution is available at the start stage here once yes. i click on the run button it is taking execution from the start stage only okay now i'm clicking on passing it now we can see the status it is taking with the past again i'm clicking on the run button it is continuing it here okay let it be now i'm taking the reset again i'm taking reset there is no status now what i'm doing is for example i'm taking division taking with the right click activity and then you can take with the set the next stage here now we can see here for now there is no status here once i'm taking with the option of the set the next stage it is taking into the status of the password here that means in the back end how it will be working is the blue prism is understanding that already execution has been started it's need to be continued from this particular stage here okay now if i'm taking with the run activity your execution will not be started from the start stage it will be getting started from this particular stage here okay so that is all the functionality of set the next stage here so because why this feature got implemented what make the reason is assume that going forward you have been taken some 50 stages you are having it you got some design some 50 stages here once you are designed the 50 stages in the 50 stages you are getting an error at the stage of 45 remaining 44 stages are working fine but 45 or 46 you are getting some error so to understand that error every time getting executed from the starting stage is the waste of the time here for that particular purpose in blue prism they give an option at what particular stage you are getting an error you can get executed from that particular step only for that you will be taking with the set the next stage here okay so first time uh, without setting the next stage uh, i run the flow from start to end and uh, when i know that at some particular stage i have the error uh, can i do that without uh, resetting i mean do i have to do the reset again no not like a reset whatever for example assume that i'm taking reset here i'm taking run activity it was running it i passed it okay or i got some error here yeah okay and now what i will be doing is i don't want to be take the subtraction multiply i record from here then now we can see it is in the passive state only i'm taking right click taking with the option of the set the next stage here now your execution directly it will be coming into the division now if i'm taking with the run activity it will be continued from the division only here okay okay so this is a direct option at what particular step i mean from which stage you want to be get executed it will be taken with the right click on that it will take option of set an extra stage by that it will be taken with execution from that stage only okay right so now this it will be taking with the option of the breakpoint and which it will be taking with the set an extra stage here okay next we need to be get understand about step and step over and which you will be taking with the step out here okay so next we need to be get understand that one you will be taking with the step and step forward step out to get understand those concepts before going to that let's get understand with the some more concept here okay that is previously we already discussed about with the data item right so in a previous example we have been clearly understanding about with the, the data item so if i'm taking with the functionality of the data item right so functionality of the data item is which it will be mentioning that to store any data okay so to store any data which it will be taking with the help of the data item right so to get store any data it will be taking with the help of the date item here okay now in a similar manner it will be getting with the one more option apart from the date item date item is same 
in a similar manner which you will be taking with the one more option that you will be mentioning it global okay. which it will be mentioning the global data item here okay one you will be taking with the data item and one you will be taking with the global data item so what exactly mean by this if i'm taking with the data item it is accessible only that particular action okay whatever the action we got created you will be able to get access that respective data item within that particular action only outside of the data item you will not be able to access it okay now if i'm taking with the global data item in a name itself it is mentioning that global okay so in the name itself it is mentioning that it is a global that means which it will be able to access in a global okay now we can see how we can get implemented these things here okay let's look into that let me close this okay let me create with the new object i will be taken with the create object which you will be taken with the global data item here okay click on the next button and the finish let's take with the double click activity so once you've done with the double click activity okay so once you have been done with the double click activity now we'll be taking these two things one you will be taking start stage and the stage for easy understanding this part i'll be taking with the rename which i will be renaming as the first page here okay now here we need to be perform some activities that again i'll be taking with the date items here okay which i'll be taking with the respective date item let's take with the double click on it this i will be taking with the a taking with the number okay and after that you will be taking with the b again taking with the number which you will be taking with the b and taking with the number and which you will be taking with the 10 okay and click on okay and after that it will be taking with the result which you will be taking with the result underscore add it will be taking with the number okay and which you will be taking it a result underscore it will be taking subtraction which you will be taking number okay i will be taking with the addition sorry which it will be taking with the addition and it will be taking subtraction for that i'm taking with the calculation stage let's take with the one more calculation stage perform double click on it it will be taking addition then it will be taking with the a and it will be taking with the plus which it will be taking b it will be getting with the store in result okay and similar to that which it will be taking with the subtraction it will be taking with the subtraction that it will be taking with the a and it will be taking with the plus which it will be taking with the b which it will be taking with the subtraction okay so it will be taking with the a and which it will be taking with the b which it will be taking with the subtraction here right okay now let's click on validate the expression is valid and then it will be clicking on okay fine now we can see here i will be taking with the addition which it will be taking subtract and it will be taking end activity let's take reset i will be getting running in the slow mode this is already we are very clear just we are taking run activity performing with the addition and taking with the subtraction and which is taking end activity okay this is fine now we can see here this is one action we created now let me create with the one more action i will be taking with the new for easy understanding which i will be mentioning with the first page here okay so which i will be taking with the first page so click on okay sorry second page right 
which you will be taking with the second page. Okay. Now second page got created. Now here, what we are doing is, okay, I need to be get perform the division and multiply. Again, taking with the two calculation stages, which you will be taking two calculation stages. Now we can see here to perform the multiplier to perform the division we required with the number nothing but data item. So if I'm taking with the data item already I have been defined in the first page. So I'm understanding that I mean I'm assuming that I can utilize with the same data items in the second page also. Let's try on it here. Now once I got open with the second page, now we can see here you are getting with the both the things here giving with the option of the first page and then giving the option of the second page. Now what we have to be doing our required data items are available in first page. Okay, so our required data items are available in first page we need to be get access into the second page here okay let's get expand with the second page here once i got sorry not second right first once i take with the expand of the first page getting with the number now we can see here all the data items are in disable mode here. okay that means by default you are not getting an access even if I try to take with the drag and drop also, it will not be giving an access here. Okay, so that means whenever if you are working with the data item, whatever the data items are there, these data items are considered as a local data items here. Okay, by default, whatever the data items we are using, that particular data items are considered as a local data items here. That means which are restricted to that particular action. Okay, so which are restricted to that particular action here. Okay, now we need to be make it in a global. So according to the requirement in any of the action, we need to be get an access here. So for that, to make it as a global, just it will be taken with the very simple option, perform the double click. Once you perform the double click activity, it will be getting with the option that it will be getting the option is visibility. By default, it will be clicked only mentioning that hide from other pages. Hide is nothing but it will not be giving an access for other pages here. It will be taking with the uncheck of it once you done with the uncheck okay so once you have been done with the uncheck then it will be taken into the other option okay so once we have been done with the uncheck now we can click on okay then it will be considered as a global data item let me take this it will be taking uncheck click on okay so now it will be taking into the global data item here Fine. Now we can see here. I will be taking with the reset. Okay. Let's take with the run activity, not run. Let me take this. It will be taking with the calculation stage, which I will be taking with the multiply. Now you will be taking with the second page number. Now we can see A and B got enabled. Previously it was in disable. Once we make it as a global, then you are getting with the access key. Now I will be taking with the A and which you will be taking with the multiply, right? You will be taking with the star, which you will be taking with the B. Okay. We need to be get stored with the result, right? Result underscore, you will be taking with the multiply created. Click on valid date, expression is valid, and click on OK. Similar to that, we need to be take a division, which you will be taking with the division. Now here, again, you will be taking with the first page, you're taking with the number, you will be taking with the A, which you will be taking with the division, that you will be taking with the B. Okay, 
which he will be taking with the A, he will be taking with the division, he will be taking with the B, and which it will be getting storing the result underscore he will be taking division. Okay, now we can click on OK. Now we can see here, it will be taking with the link activity, multiply, division, end activity. Now I will be taking with the reset. Let's take with the run activity. Now we can see here, it will be able to see that performing multiply and performing with the division activity. That means we got created with the data item in one action only and whenever we have been required we are able to access that respective data item okay so this is what which you will be taking with the local data item and which you will be taking with the global data item so local data items or nothing but you can see that data items restricted to that particular stage only global data items restricted to sorry not restricted to any particular action in any of the action you are able to access that here okay so that one will be taking with the data item and one will be taking with the global data item here okay so clear about this data item global data item All right now at the same time we need to be get understand about with the one more option that we need to be get understand about page reference here. okay so what exactly the meaning of the page reference okay so what exactly the meaning of the page reference is which it will be mentioning that accessing okay accessing the pages or nothing but actions okay accessing the pages from one page to, to another page okay accessing the pages or nothing but action from one page to another page that you will be taking with the page reference here okay what exactly mean by that so what exactly mean by that page reference here so what exactly the meaning of the page reference is now let's take with our same example here first you are taking with the first page let's take with the reset okay i'm taking with the first page click on the run now we can see here it is getting executed only first page here that means able to perform only addition and subtraction in case if you want to be performed with the multiple and division again i have to be take with the second page again i need to be take the reset once i done with the reset now the results of the addition subtraction will clear okay again you are taking second page and taking with the run activity that means even though you got designed the object to perform addition subtraction multiply division at the same time you are able to perform only any two here either you are able to execute first page or you are able to execute second page so here you are having only two pages and you are performing very less activities so manually you are opening each and every page and you are taking execution okay assume that while working with the real time you are having some 50 actions sorry we're having some hundred of actions need to be get executed so in that scenario we cannot sit in front of system and getting opening with the each and every action and need to be get started with the execution that it will not become in a very effective manner right so as part of our requirement once you are starting with the execution automatically it's need to be get connected with the another actions okay so automatically it's need to be get connected with the another actions and it's need to be continue the execution okay now we can see how we can get implemented those things here right so how we can get implemented those things is first i'm taking with the reset i'm taking with the first page performing addition performing subtraction next whatever that second page is there 
you need to make it access that second page here so to access that second page by default it will be taking with the one built-in stage that it will be taking with the page here okay once you are taking with the drag and drop of this page it will be giving in a pop-up okay mentioning with the pop-up which it will be taking it create and reference to an existing page okay it is asking the option is create and reference to existing page that means whatever the existing page is there for the existing page we need to be take with the reference what is another option mentioning that create a new page and then add a new page and create a reference another one is add new page without having any reference here. okay now you will be taking create reference to an existing page okay so taking with the option is which it will be taking with the option is create a reference to an existing page here okay right now we can see here i will be clicking on the next button once i click on the next button it is giving the list of the pages here so for now which page i need to be get access second page right taking with the second page and click on the finish now the second page will be getting connected with it. now i will be taking link here second page and then end activity i can take reset i'm taking in a slow mode only you can clear the understand that here once i'm taking with the run activity taking with the addition subtraction now it will be going to second page you can see execution move to the second page performing multiply division and again it will come back to the first page and it will be taking end activity okay even user is able to see that moving into the second page performing that respective activity now if i'm going to the second page you are able to see perform that activities here. okay this is what which you will be taking with the page reference here if required you can get create with the one more page how many pages you want to be get created you can get created that many pages here which you will be taking with the third page here okay now i'm not performing anything in the third page just i'll be taking with the connectivity here okay fine now i'm taking with the reset whenever i'm taking with the second page i need to be get executed third page then what you will be doing again you will be taking this link which you will be taking with the page reference it will be taking with the page reference and which it will be mentioning that create and the reference taking with the page that is a third page right which it will be taking third page there is no possibility to select multiple pages at the same time here okay which will be taking any one page only now click on finish okay let's take with the connectivity action of the first page only but once i click on it all this actions will get executed now you can see here performing addition subtraction taking with the second page moving into the second page now from second it will be taking with the third here now it will be taking third page and then it it will come back to the second page here now it will come back second from second it will be taking first okay so this which you will be mentioning about with the page reference nothing but accessing with the pages or accessing the actions from one page to another page here. okay so clear about this concept about page reference uh, can one uh, one flow have a uh, multiple page references yes we can have now assume that i'm taking the second page here right so now here i need to be take third page also then again it will be taking with the one more page again it will be taking third page also we can have the multiple pages doesn't make any problem okay right. mm now let's get understand about these things here we need to be take with the step step forward step forward let's look into that if i'm taking with the step okay step is nothing but executing okay executing stage by stage okay 
so the meaning of the step is which it will be mentioned in the executing step by step sorry stage by stage that means let's take with the same examples only i'm taking a reset take with the run activity i'm pausing the execution now we are able to see the option one is step another one is step over another one is step out okay so one it will be taking with the step and one it will be taking with the step over and one it will be taking with the step out here okay let's take with the step here now we're done with the step i'm clicking on it now we can see once i click on the step what will happen taking with the next stage here again i'm clicking on it now it will be going to the second page right it is navigating to the second page in second page what you are doing taking multiply taking with the division if required it will be taking with the another page again execution will navigate to that page and it will come back to the second and from the second it will be taking first page. okay use of the step option is <clears throat> use of the step option is while taking with the execution once i click on the run activity everything automatically getting executed so rather than doing that <coughs> rather <coughs> sorry rather than doing that if you want to be get understand that how the execution is happening step by step then you will be taking with the option of the set the next sorry which you will be taking with the option of the step here by that each and every step how the execution is happening it which it will be able to get understand down it here. okay right next it will be taking with the step over here so what exactly the meaning of the step over here now if i'm taking with the step it is mentioning executing stage by stage each and every stage is getting executed if i'm taking with the step over you will be mentioning that executing the whole action okay executing the whole action or nothing but you can say that page whatever the page is there it will be getting executed the whole page here okay now we can see here i'm taking reset let's take with the run activity okay once i done with the run activity i am passing the execution now we can see here i am taking step over second option click on it it is taking next stage only okay now previously what happen is once we are execution of the second page if i click on this particular stage you are able to see that execution is going to the second page and performing all the activities but now if i'm clicking on the option of the step over in a back end i mean automatically your whole second page will be getting executed and then it will be coming back from the second page here that means whatever this page is there the whole page will be getting executed what you are doing here multiply division now you can see once i click on this run button then it will be take sorry not run button is it i'm taking run i'm passing it taking with the step over now if i'm clicking on step over what what's need to be done with the second page the whole second page need to be get executed for now it is a multiply and division right okay now we can see here in the first page i am clicking on the step over now we can see directly coming to the end that means if i'm taking the second page already it got went to the second page and perform all the activities of multiply division okay don't get confused here concept is very straight forward if i'm taking with the step getting executed stage by stage if i'm taking with the step option the whole page will be getting executed here okay so that is one it will be taking with the option of the step and which it will be taking with the step out so which it will be taking step over in a similar manner which you will be taking with the step out also so if i'm taking with the step out the meaning of the step out is executing executing the whole 
object. Okay, whole object or it will be taken with the whole process. Okay, mentioning that executing the whole object or which it will be taking with the whole process here. Okay, right. Now we can see here. I'm taking reset, take the run activity, passing in a execution. Now let me click on step one. Previously, what is happening is once I click on step over, okay, it is executing that page only. But now step out is related to the whole object. In this particular object, how many actions are there? It will be performing all the actions and then it will be providing that respective output. Now we can see here, you are able to see performing only addition. Now if I click on this step out, it will be performing subtraction. You will be able to multiply division. Everything it will perform it and then it will take exit also. Now we can see here, I will be taking with the option is step out. Now we can see there is no concept of end. Previously at least you were able to see execution at the end stage. But in total it is coming out here. Now able to see with the addition, subtraction, if it takes second page, multiply, division, all the things will be the possible here. Okay, so this is what which it will be taking with the option is step and which it will be taking step over and which it will be taking step out here. Okay, so these are all the things it will be taking with the debug options here. One it will be taking with the breakpoint and one it will be taking set and next stage. So if I'm taking with the breakpoint, breakpoint is nothing but which it will be stopping the execution at that particular step. Okay, so if I'm taking with the breakpoint, it will be stopping the execution at that particular step and we can continue and we can continue the execution from the same stage. Set the next stage is in our whole object or in our whole process from where your execution need to be get started. Okay, so from where your execution need to be get started, which it will be taking that activity. Then you will be taking with the option of the data item getting stored in particular data. By default, it will be considered as a local data item. To make it as a global, global is nothing but you can get access in any of the action, for that you will be taking with the global data item. It will be taking with the visibility checkbox, taking with the uncheck, then it will be considered global data item. Next, it will be taking with the page reference, accessing with the page from one page to another page. So at the same time, it will be taking with the debug option instead, which it will be taking step over and it will be taking step out. Step is nothing but executing step by step. Step over is executing with the whole page. And the step out is executing with the whole object or process. Okay, so thus working with the different kind of debug options while working with the blue prism. Okay, clear about these things. Any clarifications from here? Okay. Like so in the situation, can we use the step, step over and step out? Uh, can you repeat your question? Like um, in which situations can we use the step, step over and step out options? Yeah. yeah. So these things, so here if we look into this. Okay. So now generally whenever I'm taking with the run activity, taking, executing one by one, all the things here. Okay. So, but I don't want to be go with the stage by stage it is getting executed here. Okay. So here, what I want to be say, just I want to be directly need to be cross checked whether the output is getting displayed correctly or not. For example, I'm taking with the reset. Now, if you look into the output, addition is not there, subtraction is not there, multiply division, anything is not performed. Now we can see here, I'm taking with the reset, I'm taking run activity, but immediately I'm passing that. Now what I'm doing is directly I'm taking with the step out. Okay, so I doesn't require to see the execution happening step by step of each and everything. Previously, if I click on run button, you are able to see yellow color taken with the execution of each and everything. 
but i don't require all those things just directly require my output is working or not now what i will be doing is i'll be directly taking the step out now we can see here directly you are getting with the output you are not seeing that taking execution of each and every stage directly in case it was getting executed what exactly the output you need to be get it you will be getting that particular output able to see multiply division able to see addition subtraction okay so in that scenarios you will be taken with the help of these options you don't want to be get waste with the time directly to see with the output then you will be taken with the help of these options here okay so going forward you will be getting understanding on it in detail so for now i mean whenever we are developing with the flows i mean related to the application then you will be understanding it how we can get utilize all these options okay right so next we need to be get started with the flows but before that we are pending one more option that is object identification nothing but element locator that means whenever we are automating any application our tool need to be get interact with the application in case tool want to be get interact with the application to get interact with the application it will be taking with the help of the application modeler right so it will be taking with the help of the application modeler so we need to be get understand how we can get work with the application modeler and what are the steps need to be done to get work with the application modeler that we need to be discuss in a very detail here okay so tomorrow we'll be getting understanding that how we can get work with the application modeler okay tomorrow means on monday okay so tomorrow we don't have any session day after tomorrow we don't have any session which will meet you on my monday i mean after two days then we'll be getting understanding about application modeler by that all the basic part will be getting completed then you will be getting started developing with the flows related to the application okay so before exiting any more clarifications you have right so if you don't have any clarifications we can get exit from the meeting so meet you on monday okay right thank you guys thanks everyone